Hello everyone, this is Joanna. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I wanted to show you how to make a shadow box card. It is so simple to make. You will not believe how fast you can put it together. So let's get started. We're going to need an eight and a half by five and a half piece of paper. And we're going to score it at a half at four and a quarter, four and three quarters. Okay, so that's the eight and a half by five and a half piece of paper. At a half, four and a quarter, four and three quarters. Now I have another piece of paper which is eight by five and a half. And this one I'm just going to score at four and a quarter. All right, so we have these two pieces of paper and we can get started. Now the eight by five and a half, that's going to be our outside piece. So we're gonna deal with it in just one second. Now, if you start folding the other piece with the three score lines, you will notice that once you fold all the score lines, you will actually get a little box and that box is going to go right inside here. So now once you're done with that you need to decide what is it that you want to do with this area. Like when you open the card what kind of opening is, is it going to have? Is it going to be oval? Is it going to be round? What are you going to put in there? This one, for example, I just wanted to make sure that I have opening for my little storefront. So it really, as long as it's just a tiny bit bigger than the window, I'm good. So uh, what I did was, I also at this point, before we go any further, if you want to do any kind of dry embossing to the front of the card, or to this part that you open, this is the time to do it. And I did it here to show to show it to you, and I did the brick embossing. So this is the outside of the card, and this is the inside of the card. You can see that I already have folded everything. I have the embossing done. And because it's a storefront, I want to I want it to be dark, so I put I attached black piece of paper inside. So now I'm I'm just gonna place it here, make sure that it fits and it does. It's it's great. And uh, I'm ready to show you how to put it together. So that's all you need to do. You need to have those two pieces of paper. You need to fold them. Make sure that your background is in. Who knows, maybe you want to stamp the background. If you have, for example, an ocean scene, maybe you want some clouds in the back or you want forest or what, what have you. So now let's get started putting it together and you'll see how simple it is. As you can see, I already attached some uh, tape just to have strong tape to my little flap and I'm going to put glue to this panel right here. So let's do that first. I'm going to do that really quickly. It's amazing how fast this card comes together once you know the dimensions and you have everything cut out. Okay, so there you go. So that's attached. Now we're going to pull the tape off. There. And we're going to close it. There. And guess what? This is our card. Did you see how easy that was? So now you can do you can start decorating. And what I did was uh, I'm not going to spend any time on the outside, but this is the outside, what I did to the outside. I sponged it. Um, I sponged it with a iced, what is it? Ice spurs. Ice spurs uh, by a uh, distress oxide and also Sahara sand with um, Sahara sand uh, stamping up ink. So I and added the greeting. I didn't want it to be too elaborate. The front doesn't have to be elaborate because the inside is so neat. And you can see that I also sponged the inside as well. 
So right now I'm really I'm ready to start putting things together and attaching them. So I already have a tape and you can you don't have to use the tape of course. Glue works just fine, but um, I'm using the tape just because it attaches itself so fast. I don't have to um, wait for it to to dry. Okay, and this just takes way, way, way too long. Okay, there you go. We're going to attach that here. And I bent, unfortunately, I bent the paper when I was pulling the paper, so maybe you should be using glue. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Now I have all those little images that have been die cut that I'm going to be decorating with and I already kind of have an idea where they're gonna go. Oh, before anything else, if you want to put any message, you have to you have to um, either emboss it. I embossed it here as much it comes it, it pops out very nice on the on the black, but you need to obviously emboss it before you attach the the background piece. But you can see here I created different layers and with the foam. So this one is a different layer and so is the bird and the hanging plant and so on and so forth. So here I already glued one plant and I'm going to I have a uh, foam tape on all my other pieces. So I'm just going to start putting it together. I the I've already put I already put the the flowers with the vases, so I don't have to do it right now. You don't have to be bored looking at me doing that. There, and let's put the the watering can here. So then, then we're going to be done with the front. There you go. And you can probably stick balloons here too. I will do that in just one minute. But I want to show you, I, I doubled the, the foam because I want to put those flowers inside but I don't want them to be attached directly. I don't want them to be attached directly to the um, to the paper, or to the cardstock. I want that dimension. It just looks so much nice when you have different layers of dimension. I did the same thing with the with the bird there are a couple of layers of foam for dimension so you can see that the the bird is actually hanging inside not just attached like this this one right here this uh, plant right there and then we're just going to take this plant one last plant and just attach it somewhere let's put it right right there there. And now if you want, we can, you can also attach the balloons to it and your card is going to be done. And you're going to uh, write the greeting uh, on the back. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and you can see how simple it is to put it together. It is so much fun, especially if you watch my videos on how to die cut all those little pieces in a very fast way. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, my friends. Ta-ta.